What's up there, you guys? Your man Joe came around just to find that you need to know. So I got another article for you guys from the endtimeheadline.org. Burning a heifer takes place in a in preparation for the third for a third temple. A major step was made towards restraining the temple service after an intense study in practical details and actual heifer how. Abbot, were Abbot, not a red one, was burned in a previous, in a matter that will enable the Jewish people to be purified. Chapter 19 of the Book of Numbers give in depth a description of the mit mit via Torah commandment uh, of burning of the red heifer. heifer and subsequent mixing with water for the purpose of sprinkling on the Jews as a means of ritual purification from contact with a dead body. I mean, Jesus already died on the cross. He already shed his blood. Um, despite the biblical description, the myth the the mitzvia of the red heifer is considered the most in magic of all the biblical commandments the red heifer is essential to the restoration of the temple service the return of the mitzvah of the red heifer is described by the prophet ezekiel as stay as a stage in the final redemption um, the red heifer is not an act not a sacrifice per se so it is a burning in the area outside of the temple oh, on the Mount of Olives according to Jewish traditions uh, that have been nine red heifers since the Mitzvah was given the Mount Shiva Shiva sent Sina intense red heifer will be used in an area era of the Messiah the last red heifer was prepared by a high priest I can't say that name been around 60 CE in the sorry in its ashes suffered suffocated not suffocated su sufficient for the next 300 years so guys what do you tell me what you guys think so this is your man Joe see you guys in another video so okay all right